happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, it is time to move on with this thing. Uh, we're getting really good response off the first video. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. So I've uh, still got the profile bit in. Now it's time. I've done all of the small letters. I'm doing something special on these, so I'm going to wait on that. We'll, hopefully we'll get to that on this video. So now I'm going to, I've got it set at about 3 16 and I want to start carving these big letters. So let's, oh, by the way, my, uh, my little light things so far, so good. They're holding up really good so far. Man, that Starbond stuff is really cool. So many different uses. All right, let's get on it. <sighs> Here we go. Oops, I need to take care of my cord there. Forgot that part. Hang on. I don't like my cord hanging off the end of the bench. Any of you that have been watching for any time probably remember that. All right. That should work. Okay, so a couple things I want to go over here. If you guys go back and watch that, this style of letter is kind of tricky because in these corners you want to try and get uh, as sharp of points as you can in there, or I try to, um, just because there's not much space in those. I'll probably go back and touch those up a little bit more, but um, even though I was set at 3 16 deep, um, up in these corners, I wasn't that deep. I kind of pulled the router up. If you guys go back and watch that, you'll see that. Um, and the other thing is that, especially with this mahogany, I'm not, or what I think is mahogany, I'm not too sure about it, but um, I'm, I'm not really that comfortable with carving this stuff. Oh, this fly is driving me crazy. Uh, uh, summertime's here and the flies are buzzing. All right, hang on. Got him. See that? No. Got him. Thank you. You didn't see it? No. No. Thank there you. There he is. Eric Broton. Stop it. All right. I'll wipe him off now. Okay. So, 
Anywho, um, you can see that when I was carving that I kind of stayed to the inside of the line to give myself a little room um, for movement, especially when you're carving something that's that you're not really used to. I've carved, uh, this would be the first real sign out of mahogany or whatever this is that I've carved. So I leave myself a little bit of room for movement in case I catch a weird grain or whatever. I don't want to, you know, be beyond the boundary of what I want. So I'm taking my time and staying away from the line a little bit and then going back and touching it up and kind of just trimming it up and make it, uh, make it all the way I want. All right. So I've done that. I'm going to finish the rest of these letters up off camera. Then we'll come back and we'll get into the next part. All right. So I've got all the lettering done. Uh, as far as all of the detail. So now what I've got to do is I'm going to take my uh, profile bit and I'm set at uh, about a quarter of an inch and I am going to go in and clean a bunch of that stuff out. So I'm going to start with, uh, yeah, I'm set about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to start with the, the box and the rooster and just kind of work my way out and get all of this uh, miscellaneous stuff inside the, the carving, get that all cleaned out. So we're going to do that right now. Here we go.
Okay, so now I am going to go back. This is the new 60. This is the, the and this is one of the advantages of this, uh, the Amana 60 over the white side 60 is it doesn't cut quite as wide. So, and you can cut deeper. So I've got it set at a full quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to take out all of this extra stuff um, in between the, the outside lines. All right. My light, uh, my light apparatus, my octopus light, is uh, actually having to um, charge up right now. <laughs> I ran through the battery in it. Here we go. Okay, you guys get an idea of what I'm doing there. I actually nicked that right there. I don't know if you guys caught that. I have to go back in with the profile bit. Fortunately, I've got a lot of room to play with there and trim that up. This, uh, this mahogany is really hard, and the bigger the bit that you use, the more wood you're taking out, the harder it is. Um, anyway, so I'm going to finish all this up. Uh, I'm going to put the profile bit in and trim that up uh, and then finish all this up. And then when we come back, we'll do the border. Okay, all of the detail carving is done. All the lettering is done. The logo is done. The only carving uh, that I've got left are these, uh, these chisels here. And I'm going to do something different on those here uh, after I get the border done. So what I'm going to do on the border is something I've never done before, but I, I've been thinking about it and I thought, well, it might look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do, what I've drawn, done, done is drawn a, a one inch box all the way around the outside. And that's simply to make sure that I stay within the parameters that I want to. Now these lines here, you'll see what those are for in just a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit that I've never used before on camera. I've used this a little bit because I just got it not too long ago. Sideways. Huh? Turn it a little more sideways. Oh, the whole router yeah. this way. Mm -hmm. This is a V groove, a 90 degree V groove, but it's a half inch. It's still quarter inch shank, but it's half inch. This is an Amana bit, uh, and the number on it is 45714. So this is not a bit that we carry. Um, we don't, uh, unless there seems to be a call for them, we might carry them in the future. But as of right now, we don't carry these bits. Although I think I'm gonna use this one uh, more often than not. Um, but it is in our Amazon store, so if you want one of these, you can always go to our Amazon store and get it there, and you'll be sure and get the right one, because the link will be there. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw, or I'm going to carve a bunch of lines as soon as I get rid of the flies. So um, let's just get into this. I'm going to just... Uh, 
and and I could I probably would be better off doing this for me uh, closer to me but from a, for a camera's vantage point uh, it's going to be a little more difficult for me, but I'll be able to see exactly. This is just my stop line. That's where I want to pull the groove to, and I want to stop there. And then these, I just drew with my square just in it, uh, indeterminately, a little over an inch wide, just to keep me on track to make sure that my lines don't go kind of cattywampus, so to speak. Now at the corners, I'm going to do something a little bit different. What I did here is I drew a, a 45 degree line uh, from my point of my box out to the corner so that I will cut those. I will use this V-groove and I will cut that line there. As a matter of fact, I think I'll do that first. Let me make sure I've got enough. Yeah, I do have enough there. So I've got this set. Uh, let's see, how deep do I have this set? I don't think I even checked that yet. Uh, I think I've got it at about a quarter of an inch. I do have it at about a quarter of an inch, which is going to take out one heck of a lot of wood, I think. So, let's see how this works. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of going down the board here. Are we ready? I guess I wasn't. Let's plug that. <laughs> let's plug that thing in. Make sure I got a hold of it in case it's on. All right, there we go. Here we go. Move this stuff out my way. So that's kind of what I had in mind. So I'm going to do that, guys. Uh, I'm going to take this out, too. But I'm going to do that all the way around. Now, what I, what I have to be careful of here is I really don't want any of these points to be equal with my surface because when I sand it, I don't want those to come up black. And if they or come up white, excuse me, because I am going to spray that black. Some of this is going to be sprayed black. Some of it isn't. Anyway, so I am going to finish that up all the way around. Um, and then we'll come back and see where we're at. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today. So I got the border all done. I've got the carving all done. The only thing left as far as the sign making part is the chisels. And that's the first thing that I'm going to do on the next video. Um, really happy with it so far, this mahogany. Man, it is... Uh, it's tough stuff, but it carves really well. It just, boy, if you're not moving at a fairly decent pace, you can see a lot of burn marks around here. Doesn't really matter. That's all going to be black anyway. But um, really happy with the way that border. It looks kind of like I thought it would. Uh, I'm curious to see what it's going to look like with uh, with black and sand it off. So when we come back on the next video, which will be next week, I think, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're going to see this on Wednesday. So uh, on Monday's video, 
We'll get those chisels done. There's going to be a special process and then more surprises to come after that. Anyway, I'm having fun with this. Hope you guys are liking it. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get notified when we do videos three times a week. So we love you all. Uh, I'm on uh, Instagram every day, make a wood sign. There's the channel, there's the website. If you need any supplies, let us know. Happy to help you however we can. If you have questions, email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Like I've said recently, I don't do a lot of Facebook uh, anymore, so if you're leaving me messages in there and I haven't got back to you, be sure and email me those messages. Sign Carvers of the Day, get them to me over on my direct email, and uh, I'll respond to you right away. Anyway, we love you guys. Have a great one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.